Howdy, y'all. What? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Reese, and I suck at vlogging, and I'm mad about it too. All the time I get comments from you guys asking for vlogs, where are the vlogs, we love vlogs, blah, blah. I know. I know. I do too. I love them. But I've just... Mm, mm. This past month has been quite rough with a capital R, and I'm just now feeling better. So I really, really want to make vlogs, and I can... But there's just always something holding me back, so I'm here telling myself, telling you, that I'm here to make vlogs because I want you guys to see what the life of a college student is. It's not great all the time, it is great sometimes, but yes, today I'm vlogging. It's already like <laughs> 3 p.m., so like we missed the greater part of the day, but I still have quite a lot to do. I'm not wearing any makeup, I, <laughs> I'm so pale. Look how pale my skin is on my face compared to my hands. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm vlogging today because I have some things to do and I know I have homework that I've been putting off. <laughs> and I want to show you how I'm doing that because I have like an essay and a project and things and I want to show you how I'm doing that. And I also just want to get back on the vlog kick because I love making vlogs. I do. But it's just like... <sighs> I put so much pressure on myself and then I don't like them and then I start a vlog. There's so many half started vlogs. Like I have the bunch of like the beginning of the day and then I just always forget to finish them. And I'm like, well, I can't upload this now. It's like I have like two minutes worth of footage. So yeah. So yeah, I'm here saying hello. Welcome to this vlog. <laughs> if you're new here, bad video to click on, but it's fine. So I just came back from class, finished my class for the day. I was going to say classes, but my first one was canceled. I did nothing all morning. Surprise. But now I really need to grind because I have been putting off homework. I have been procrastinating. I like start it and then I get like two sentences in and I'm like I can't do this anymore. So I will show you me doing my homework. I'm also going to force myself to go to the gym because I went the past two days and I'm feeling good. And I'm trying to get back on the gym grind as well. I'm just trying to get back into life, you know. So let's do this together. Anyway, I'm going to sit in my bed. Maybe eat a snack relax for a little bit because the last class just like I feel brain dead in it. It's not because it's hard, it's because it's so painfully boring that I think my brain just like shuts off. And then we're gonna start some homework. I'm just gonna make coffee because that's just gonna make everything better. So it'll make me awake. I'll have some energy to do my homework. I'll probably start shaking because every time I drink coffee I shake which is probably a bad sign but it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna use my favorite mug, dogs and party hats. Oh, and I'm also trying to be very environmentally friendly, and I got these reusable K-cups. So that's me trying to save the planet because I got yelled at a lot in my morning routine for using these. But my roommate and I share these, so um, yeah, now I got these babies. I left this coffee creamer here in the fridge over our 10-day break, and somehow it's not bad yet, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> I promise it isn't bad. So I'm, I, I'm cheap and I don't feel like buying a new one, so I'm just going to use it. Okay, before I get started with my homework, I'm going to clean my room. It's not really that messy. I just feel overwhelmed with starting this homework for some reason, so I'm going to clean my room first. Hello. Aesthetic lighting. So, um, yeah, here's a little cleaning montage for you. my desk for once and do my homework because my bed is 100% a trap okay I made it super comfy because last year I suffered a lot of pain from the bed they provide you so I have a nice memory foam mattress my comforter is all cozy my blankets warm so as soon as I get in my bed and think I can do homework I don't and I have no idea what homework I even have to do 
I'm sorry if you hear background noise. I had to turn on the air conditioning because it is so hot in here. I don't know why. It's freezing outside, but it's like 75 degrees in here, so. I have to work on an essay, and then I have to work on a marketing project where I'm creating a marketing plan for the business Scrub Daisy. If you've heard of Scrub Daddy, like that sponge, smiley face looking thing, they have another project, Scrub Daisy, and we have to make a marketing plan for it. Fake, of course, but like, it's part of the marketing class. And then I also have to watch a movie and write an essay on it because it corresponds with a book. So that's what I have to do, and I have to do that all by Sunday-ish. So it's Thursday now, I have time, but I've just been putting it off and I could have been done more, but whatever. So what do I wanna do first? I think I'm gonna work on the marketing plan first because that seems like the easiest thing to knock out of the way. All right, so I have to do a PowerPoint for this project. I'm still like outlining what I'm gonna put on the slides, but I wanted to show you guys a little tip that I use to make good PowerPoints. I personally use Google Slides because I don't have Microsoft Office and I like the Google program better. So what I do is I go online and I type in Google Slides template or Google Slides design or something. So I'm on this website here. This is slidescarnival.com and then all you do is you find a nice template that's not the basic templates that everyone else uses so like I'm gonna use this one because it's really cute and then it gives you like an entire template to make your slide out of and it makes your PowerPoint slide not basic teachers are always impressed with them and I use this for every single PowerPoint that I make and I love it I'm actually thinking of doing an entire video on how to make a good PowerPoint because, I mean, there's so many times I see people, like, make PowerPoints and they just make me cringe because it's just, like, white background, black text, and, like, the most minimal effort ever, and you can make really nice PowerPoints with just, like, a few tips and stuff. So, like, that's one of my life hacks, just saying. I know I'm, like, the biggest geek ever and I care about PowerPoints, but... I expect nothing less than an A plus on a PowerPoint if I'm being honest because they're just so easy so why not just put in like the tiniest bit more effort to make it to make it good. So like all I had to do was download it and now I have it in my PowerPoint slides and you just go ahead and edit it however you want and put in all of your information and they always have like little graphics like Venn diagrams and charts and they have different templates for the slides so it I really like it. They always have like um, graphics like this, little emoticons. It's really good and it really makes a difference in your PowerPoints. Okay, so it's like 5 o'clock now and I was going to go to the gym but then I got up out of my chair after sitting there for like an hour and a half and realized how sore I am and if I go today that'll be three days in a row and I know I won't go tomorrow so I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow instead when I'm a little less sore and I'm kind of like on a homework grind, not gonna lie, I'm really into this PowerPoint and I'm gonna show you what I did so far. Guys, look how fancy I am with the dual monitor. Like, I'm just such a professional. I brought this monitor from home to edit videos on because it got annoying just like doing it on this and I wanted something bigger. But anyway, here is my PowerPoint so far. And you know what? I'm just gonna make this video basically how to make a good PowerPoint because why not? We're already here. So like these bright colors really goes with the brand that I'm marketing for so yeah um, if you want to learn about scrub daisy <laughs> here you go but basically the key to like a good PowerPoint is just like making it look organized while also putting a lot of elements into it so this is like an entire project on its own if I were to present this and you have to speak with it I wouldn't put as many words because a PowerPoint while you're speaking is supposed to be just kind of like a visual element it's not supposed to have what you're saying word for word but this is a project where I'm not going to present it so I have to put all the information possible I can on there so just by like adding pictures and making it seem not too cluttered but like organized clutter that's what makes a good PowerPoint so like we got a nice little uh, transition header and then with this I like 
misaligned them so it adds a little bit of visual element i had them like originally um aligned together like this is higher than this obviously and like add supporting pictures and stuff and also with the powerpoint you want to keep a consistent theme like all the fonts and colors are the same so like all the fonts and everything add some supporting pictures and honestly this could be a little better like i don't really prefer white backgrounds like i would rather have a colored background but i have a lot of pictures and all the pictures have white backgrounds and i don't feel like photoshopping them out so i'm just making it easier for myself so we got the main objective the main marketing objective and then target audience another thing i love to do is add like color blocks so anytime I do a picture or like I want to separate the page, I'll just put like a shape with a color block and then it just kind of like separates the slide a little bit more, adds emphasis to this, it adds kind of like a frame or a background to these pictures and like I would do that, like say I put like um, a shape behind this and it would kind of add like a colored frame just for like more visual appeal. So like, there we go, that's what I have so far. I'd say I'm like a little more than halfway done, but as you can see, it's just very visually appealing, very bright and colorful. If I were doing a different product, it would have a different feel, but this is a very bright product. And yeah, just try to stay consistent, but also add lots of visual elements. That's why I like downloading like a different uh, template or whatever to the slides because if not then you're most likely going to have the same template or background or whatever as someone else and then it doesn't like differentiate your project at all by having something just different to look at rather than the same powerpoint templates teachers get all the times it makes yours really stand out and then like this one provides the different like templates to the slides themselves like you can have two paragraphs you can have the different um, diagrams and stuff so it just really helps to make your PowerPoint stand out and like I said I don't like anything less than an A on a PowerPoint because PowerPoints are the easiest projects you can do and it just takes a little bit of effort to make them look good so I'm gonna probably finish this because like I said I'm really feeling it and if I finish this then I don't have to worry about it this weekend and then I really need to start well, I already started, but like continue working on this essay that I have due this weekend as well because I know I'm not going to want to do it later. So I just got to like push myself to do it. So, yeah. All right, so let me just show you kind of how I set up for essays and plan for them. I kind of have it planned out. I just, I did start writing it, but I don't like what I've written and I haven't written anything else. But I'm going to show you anyway what I like to do to set up for essays because in college you have to write a lot of them so this is my document here and then in the bolded words is all of the main points and questions I have to answer in my essay so it's kind of like my three paragraphs for the essay then underneath that I jot down my initial thoughts and kind of what I want to say in the essay so like if you're reading this you're probably confused but it's just about is Disney actually corrupt and is it like brainwashing our children <laughs> that's basically what the essay is about anyway um I just like jot down what I want to say and how I kind of want the paragraph to go like this is just messy initial thoughts uh yeah so that's that and then underneath I find quotes in the book that support these thoughts and support it um so that I can you know use citations and actually make sense to the book that we're reading so when you first read the questions that are being asked to answer in the essay write down your initial thoughts what stance you take on it and how you personally relate it to the book and then go back to the book and find those quotes and stuff that support your thoughts and support your stance and then I just did that for the next question found some more quotes and I didn't hit that third paragraph yet so I've written the first two paragraphs of <laughs> I'm this meant to say like point one so I've written about point one here this first question but I don't like what I've written so I'm probably going to rewrite it and I tried starting this and I don't like it either so like <laughs> I'm just not motivated to write this at all I don't care about it like it's an interesting topic like is Disney actually corrupt is Disney brainwashing kids yada yada but we've been talking about it for so long like I literally don't care anymore <laughs> and um, I've read the book and it's boring 
and I don't feel like talking about it. So yeah, like it's really easy, but I just keep talking myself out of it. But we're gonna try to grind, we're gonna try to do it. Maybe I'll get some motivation. If not, I'll just leave it to the day before and I always write my essays the day before, which is a terrible tip, but it also always works for me because then it forces me to do them. And then for some reason, I always write really good essays when I'm in a time crunch, so 